Welcome, I'm Christina Moore, the Director of Education for Alter Ego Italy USA. The Shape Ego is a line by Alter Ego that is dedicated to shape. It perfectly combines with the soul of the brand dedicated to technology and high performing products. The Shape Ego offers three different options to capture the desired creative expression. Whether your clients are wanting pure straightness or smooth natural effect or well-defined curls that are frizz free and controlled. So let's start by discussing the products in the range first, then we'll identify how to use them. The Prep Ego 0.0 Shampoo is a deep cleansing shampoo that removes impurities and styling residues. It provides a soft peel effect. It is used in the preparation with the Shape Ego treatments along with supporting the Plasmante perming system. The Prep Ego deeply cleanses while also acting on the cuticle to improve the hair's absorption of the specific treatment that will be used. This deep cleansing shampoo utilizes K3 technology and baobab oil. The K3 technology has three parts to it. The first part is K1, which is an active ingredient composed of amino acids and vegetable proteins. This provides strength, shine, and hydration. The K2 is a conditioning agent that is able to improve the surface of damaged hair by aligning the fibers and increasing the smoothness. And then the K3 is a next generation of keratin. It has a targeting action on the cuticle and the cortex for the best cosmetic action. Baobab oil is rich in vitamin E and C. It protects and nourishes for more soft and supple hair. In the Shape Eagle line, we offer three different treatments. The Shape Perfector, the No Yellow Shape Perfector for blonde hair, and the Shape Modulator. Included in the active ingredients for all three of these products is a Heat Protect Complex that combines technological active ingredients with plant extracts. Shape Ego has been designed and formulated to guarantee excellent performance along with protecting the hair during the stri technical straightening service. Included in the Heat Protect Complex is Lime Leaf Extract, which is rich in active substances. It wraps the hair in a protective film that smooths and protects the cuticle, limiting water loss and reduces porosity. This results in smooth and silky hair, making it easier to style, along with softness, shine, volume, and reduction of static electricity. Another active ingredient in the Heat Protect Complex is the De-Stress Complex, which guarantees excellent protection against thermal stress caused by styling tools. Its benefits include anti-humidity, anti-frizz, and helps reduce the hair's brittleness. This action gives the result in the hair being wrapped in a protective film for the feeling of extreme softness. Now that we went over the active ingredients in the Heat Protect Complex, let's discuss the products that are offered with this new technology. First is the Shape Perfector. The Shape Perfector is a classic straightening service. It guarantees exceptional straightening even on the most difficult hair while respecting the health and well-being. It is ideal for very curly and frizzy, natural or treated hair. It gives brightness, reduces volume, and makes the hair easy and manageable to comb. This is just an overview on instructions on how to use the Shape Perfector. And be sure to follow the guidelines with timing and heat temperatures when using these treatments on a client. So to start, you'll want to do a consultation with your client to ensure that you choose the correct treatment that meets your client's needs. When carrying out the actual hands-on application, ensure to have a copy of the brochure so you can verify shampoo applications, development times, temperatures that are recommended for each hair type. We have the three instructions set up in categories. We have natural uncolored hair for wavy, curly, or frizzy. We have hair that is tinted or lightened up to 50%. And the third part of the instructions is lightened or bleached hair up to 70% or more. So step one is your preparation. You're going to wet your client's hair with a suitable Prep Ego 0.0 shampoo. You're gonna massage gently until plenty of lather forms. Then follow the instructions on the guidelines for how many washes and how long you should leave the Prep Ego on the hair. Again, this varies for all different hair textures and types. Step two, drying the hair prior to applying the treatment. The amount you need to dry the hair depends on the hair type. So follow the guidelines that support your client's needs. Step three is the application of the Shape Perfector. Using a comb, section the hair crosswise into four traditional quadrants. Wear protective gloves, and you'll want to shake the bottle of the Shape Perfector. Then you'll pour 30 to 50 grams into a plastic bowl. 
The amount of product that will be used depends on the length and the density of the hair. Starting at the nape, take horizontal sections about a half a centimeter or fourth or fourth of an inch thick. Hold this section with tension, and while using a stiff bristle brush, start the application of the treatment about a fourth of an inch away from the scalp. Massage each, each section with your hands to facilitate the penetration of the product into the hair. Comb each section, working your way from the bottom towards the nape all the way to the top of the head. Work the two sections at the back of the head, then move to the sections that are towards the face. Once all the hair is saturated and the application is complete, follow the processing or development times. Do not cover the head with a cap. You'll want to leave this product as it is in the open air and combed down position. Reference back to the instruction guidelines, processing times vary from 15 to 30 minutes. The guidelines will as well inform you if the hair type may need to be quickly rinsed from the hair to remove any ex excessive residue. Step four, after the development time has been reached and if required, the hair is rinsed lightly for about 15 seconds. Dry the hair thoroughly using a hair dryer and brush. Once the hair is completely dry, we'll be straightening the hair. Again, it is important to ensure that the hair is 100% dry before moving on to step five. Step five is straightening with the hair with a straightening iron. Adjust the temperature according to your guidelines and instructions. Your choice of temperature is essential to ensure the best results. Section the hair crosswise again into your traditional four quadrants, starting at the nape and working your way upward using the horizontal sectioning in the same quarter of an inch thickness and using a fine tooth comb that's heat resistant. Keep the sections tight and pass a straightener from the root all the way through the ends. Check the result to ensure the temperature is correct and the type of hair you are working on. The number of passes will range anywhere from five to 12. Now this depends on the area that you're working on along with the hair texture. Temperatures and straightener passes must be checked against the hair's structure, like medium, thin, or thick, and the resistance of the hair. We have put together a guide to help direct you for temperature and textures. Again, it is very important that you as a stylist make any adjustments to the heat or number of passes. After the reaction of the first section that you complete, double check. You will find the temperature in the technical guide brochure. Once the ironing is complete, you will complete step six, which is shampooing and conditioning. So rinse the hair thoroughly with warm water and then shampoo lightly again with Prep Ego 0.0. Rinse from the hair immediately and dab carefully with a towel to elim eliminate any excess water. Apply the taming mask to damp hair. Rinse and dry the hair by hand. Focus the dryer to direct the airflow from the root to the ends, so in a downward motion. The No Yellow Shape Perfector straightens and tames light blonde, very lightened, or natural white hair. It guarantees excellent straightening while neutralizing undesirable yellow tones. Uniquely, it contains a quality No Yellow Pigment for treating cool or white blonde hair without the risk of yellowing, like other traditional treatments out in the market. Its consistency and specific dispenser allows for quick and easy application with the utmost comfort. This is just an overview of instructions on how to use No Yellow Shape Perfector. Be sure to follow the guidelines with timing and heat temperatures when using these treatments on a client. So to start, you're going to do a consultation with your client to ensure that you choose the correct treatment that meets your client's needs. When carrying out the actual hands-on application, ensure to have a copy of the technical brochure so you can verify shampoo applications, development time, and temperatures that are recommended for each hair type. So we have instructions set up for three categories. We have the natural, uncolored hair, wavy, curly, or frizzy hair. Hair that is tinted or lightened up to 50%, and the third is lightened or bleached up to 70% or more. So step one, preparation. Wet your client's hair and use, apply the suitable amount of Prep Ego 0.0 shampoo. Massage gently until plenty of lather forms. Follow the instructions in the guideline for how many washes or how long sh you should leave the Prep Ego 0.0 sitting on the hair. Again, this varies for all different hair textures and types. Step two, drying the hair prior to applying the treatment. The amount you need to dry the hair depends on the hair type. So follow the guidelines again that support your client's needs. Step three is the application of the No Yellow Shape Perfector. Using a comb, section the hair crosswise into four traditional quadrants. Wear protective gloves, 
and shake the bottle of No Yellow Shape Perfector and pour into a Shape Ego spray bottle. The amount of product that will be used depends on the length and the density of the hair. Starting at the nape, take horizontal sections, a half a centimeter or a fourth of an inch thick. Hold the hair with tension and start spraying the product close to the root all the way through the ends. Start the application uh, for the treatment about a fourth of an inch away from the scalp. Comb each, each section with a fine tooth comb, and then work the product through using your hands to facilitate the penetration of the product into the hair. Work each section in this way all the way to the top of the head and continue to the next section. Work the two back sections of the head, then move to the next quadrants that are closest to the face. Once all the hair is saturated and the application is complete, follow the processing and development times. You do not need to cover the head with a cap. You will want to leave the product as it is in the open air and combed down position. Again, reference back to your instruction guidelines, processing times vary between 15 and 30 minutes. For step four, after the treatment has been processed, if required, lightly rinse with lukewarm water for a few seconds to eliminate any excess product before drying the hair. Thoroughly dry the hair using your hair dryer and either a flat or round brush. Step five, straightening with an iron. Ensure the hair is 100% dry. Adjust the temperature according to the guidelines and instructions. Your choice of temperature is essential to ensure the best results. Section the hair again crosswise into your four quadrant sections. And starting at the nape and working your way upward, use the horizontal sections in the same quarter of an inch thickness. Using a fine tooth heat resistant comb, keep each section tight and pass the straightener from the root all the way through to the ends. Check the result to ensure the temperature is correct for the type of hair you're working on. The number of passes will range between five and 12. This will depend on the area you are working on along with the hair texture. Temperatures and straightener passes must be checked against the hair's structure like medium, thin, or thick, and the resistance of the hair. We put together the guideline for you to help direct for temperatures and texture. Again, it's very important that you, as a stylist, make any adjustments to the heat or number of passes after the reaction of the first section. You will find the temperatures in the technical guide brochure. Once the ironing is complete, you will complete step six, which is shampooing and conditioning. Rinse the hair thoroughly with warm water and then shampoo with Prep Ego 0.0. Rinse from the hair immediately and dab carefully with a towel to eliminate any excess water. Apply the taming mask to damp hair and dry the hair by hand. Focus the dryer to direct the airflow for the hair from the root to the ends, so in a downward motion. The Shape Modulator is an anti-frizz straightening service that tames, reduces volume, and gives hair a naturally smooth look. The quality mix of organic substances binds to the keratin structure with a thermal action of the straightener. This leaves the hair conditioned, nourished, and hydrated for about three months. This is just an overview of instructions on how to use Shape Modulator. Be sure to follow the guidelines with timing along with following the temperatures using the treatments on each client. To start, do a consultation with your client and ensure that you choose the correct treatment that meets your client's needs. When carrying out the actual hands-on application, ensure to have a copy of the brochure so you can verify shampoo applications, development times, and temperatures that are recommended for each hair type. So preparation, step one. Wet your client's hair and apply a subtle amount of Prep Ego 0.0 shampoo. Massage gently until plenty of lather forms. Rinse thoroughly with warm water and dab carefully with a towel to eliminate any excess water. Step two is applying the treatment. So wear protective gloves, shake the bottle well before using, apply a minimum of 50 grams of shape modulator to the hair, increase the amount in case of longer hair. Spread evenly by massaging with your hands until plenty of a thick lather forms. Cover with a cap, and then step three is development. Develop time is between 10 and 25 minutes, depending on the result that you're wanting. Once the development time is complete, rinse carefully to remove all residual product. Dry the hair thoroughly and ensure the hair is completely dry. Step four, section the hair into traditional four quadrant sections. Starting at the nape and working your way upward, Use horizontal sections in a quarter of an inch thick. Use a fine tooth comb, heat resistant comb. Keep the sections tight and pass the straightener from the root all the way through to the ends. Check the result to ensure the temperature is correct for the type of hair that you're working on. The number of passes will range between four and eight. In the case that you are wanting a straight effect, 
This is your final step, and the treatment ends with the straightening. Otherwise, continue on to step five. Step five is rinsing and hydration. So when performing the shape modulator for frizz control or volume reduction, once the straightening is complete, rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Towel dry the hair and apply the taming mask and let it develop for five to eight minutes. Rinse and then your treatment is complete. Don't forget to request a PDF brochure from your distributor or DSC so you have everything you need in the step-by-steps when you're using the Shape Eagle products.